guys welcome back to my channel welcome to I don't know if this is necessarily a vlog or more of a sit down video more of like a catch up video haven't done this before or at least in a really long time and I just kind of wanted to like catch you guys up on what's going on besides or behind yoga classes and um, I guess just what's kind of going on in life what happened with our wedding our honeymoon and all that okay so I've already jumped around a whole bunch so basically in the month of November we got married, we moved across the country, and we honeymooned. It was a lot. It was a lot, but it was so fun and kind of exhilarating. So I am now a Mrs., which is so nice. I'm in a new space. As you can see, this is a new bedroom, which is so very nice. Now that everything is situated and I can actually even make this video, it's really, really nice because I actually get to fully immerse myself, not in part wedding planning, not in part marriage counseling or premarital counseling, not in all these other things, but I can actually just like dive into only my business. And saying that, I get to really not only immerse myself in what I know now, but I can learn more in all this free time that I have. And so that is where I want to say thank you to today's sponsor, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. I really, really love Skillshare. It is so packed with information. I know everyone talks about YouTube University, but Skillshare is like YouTube University on a trillion. Skillshare is pretty much an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators especially. It's pretty much a space for you to like explore new skills, deepen current passions. There are tons of skills that you can learn on Skillshare such as cooking or Photoshop, business and marketing. I mean there's just so many categories of things. The possibilities literally are actually endless. So for example right now I am actually taking an intro to Procreate and it's with Brooke Glasser. Glaser? So it's a beginner level class which is perfect because I really don't know much about Procreate but I just got an iPad because I really want to start jazzing up my thumbnails and just being able to be more creative and play around and anyway I really like Brooke because she really breaks it down super easily she breaks it down even just from like how to set up a canvas to how to switch different brushes to how to change different colors and she makes it so beginner friendly which is really really nice Okay, so I kind of wanted to show you what it looks like when you initially join and start your membership. So with Skillshare, automatically they give you some options to choose from, like topics that interest you. And so of course I'm choosing a lot of like photography, film and video, Adobe Photoshop. I'm especially like social media and all of that since that's pretty much the niche that I'm in right now. I'm also kind of curious to get into creative writing one day and so um, and I think my husband would love for me to learn a little bit more in the kitchen. <laughs> so I am selecting a couple of things that I feel would be awesome for me. And they go ahead and they personalize your homepage and give you some options to even start looking at. And of course here is, there's just so much inspiration. It's really cool. So I went ahead and selected Intro to Procreate because I actually did just buy an iPad and I'm really interested in learning how to work with Procreate. And then as you scroll down, you can learn more about the class. It shows like if it's a beginner level and just information on what you're about to learn about. And then what I did was I went ahead and saved this. So if you see, you go to your name, you click on classes and here I have the Intro to Procreate illustrating on the iPad saved. Oh, and the best part is, before I forget, the first 1,000 subscribers of mine that click the link in the description will earn one free month automatically with Skillshare to begin exploring your creativity for yourself. So be sure to click that link down in my description and let's get on with the story. Okay, um, as far as us moving, that's pretty much where it all started. I know I never shared exactly where I was just for safety reasons, but we used to live in Lincoln, Nebraska. That's where in the Midwest I was. We ended up doing a self move. We didn't have to do that, but of course my husband is very much so a hands-on, let's just get it done, knock it out kind of person. Once we were out, that was wonderful. And right after we moved, like literally right after that, it was time for us to get ready for our wedding. We got married on November 4th in Atlanta, Georgia at a beautiful venue that I'm just, I really, really loved it. It was so gorgeous. If you want to see photos definitely head over to my Instagram and so if you want to see those photos you can definitely head over to my Instagram because our photographers chef's kiss they did an excellent job excellent job I have so we can stay together the most attractive photography couple <laughs> in life like literally <laughs> Aww. 
y'all. Look at them. Now, we'll just fast forward to the part where we're headed to Atlanta, getting ready for the wedding. I made sure anything that I had my dress, I had my dress literally glued to my side. Like I literally was like holding it on the plane. So of course with any wedding day, like I already went into this knowing that there was going to be something. I didn't know what it was going to be or how many of it it was going to be. <laughs> I just knew that there was going to be something because that is just life. I'll say there were three things that Three bumps in the road, I'll say. There were three bumps in the road. The first bump in the road happened at midnight. It was the major bump in the road. It was the biggest bump in the road. Obviously, things worked out. Basically, my husband wanted to give one of his family friends a chance to kind of do their thing as the DJ. Personally, I preferred to kind of go with someone that was like very experienced, and not even very experienced, but more so like really, really did this. Even if it was a side hustle, like a solid side hustle. Web Website, business cards, something that I can look on and see and learn about them, kind of word of mouth, and then that's it. Nonetheless, marriage is about compromise, and so I was like, you know what? Listen, if he wants to give this family friend a chance, then that's fine. So we did that. Tell me why, y'all. Tell me why. At midnight, I was getting ready to finally get in bed. We were in Atlanta. This is the night before our wedding. Jonathan was in his room. I was in my room. We were in separate hotels, you know, just to make sure that we didn't run into each other. And I was really just finishing up some last minute like bridal gifts, bridesmaids gifts, and other little things. <laughs> and I strictly remember thinking in my head, like this is literally the moment that I just get to go to sleep and just be excited. Like I get to get in my head right now about how I'm getting married tomorrow. Like I was so thrilled. I was just about to get in bed and I got a phone call and it was Jonathan and so I was like okay hi sweetheart what's going on he was like hey uh yeah I just wanted to check with you and honestly whenever he does that voice I'm like either something is terribly wrong or he really is just casually like checking on me but at midnight mm, the night before I went mm, I don't know about that and so I was like okay check on what me is like, so the DJ is supposed to be staying, and I'm saying the DJ because I don't want to say her name because I'm not gonna put her on blast blast. Not that you'd be able to find her because she doesn't have a website like that anyway. But nonetheless, out of respect, he was like, so yeah, I don't know, I, I haven't gotten a call from her or anything. I haven't gotten a confirmation that she has gotten like to Atlanta, period. So since she's staying in your hotel, would you mind just going downstairs and checking to see if she actually got in? or if you like checked into the hotel and I was like, okay, sure. So I go downstairs, I ask the lady, I'm like, hey, has this person checked in the hotel yet? And she says no. And I'm like, hmm, okay. And so the first thing is like, don't flip out. I don't panic or flip out or anything until all resources have been exhausted. So we check, we call her a bunch of times. We double, triple check with the lady at the front and make sure it wasn't under a different name or you know she's not staying with somebody else in somebody else's room, whatever the case may be, she's nowhere to be found. He ends up getting some text from her like an hour or so or whatever later. It's like a broken text, like almost like the words weren't even making sense. Like when you try and speak into your phone and it kind of comes out jumbly. Something about so sorry. As soon as I heard sorry, I was like, all right, time to look for another DJ at two in the morning. <laughs> like Jonathan being as kind and sweet, I really do like appreciate that he tried to tell me to just go ahead and go to sleep. Don't worry about it. You know, you're the bride. You're supposed to get rest. And I'm like, as sweet as that is, there's absolutely no way I can sleep right now knowing that we don't have a DJ for our wedding tomorrow, which is actually today. And it's like one, two in the morning and we have to find somebody, which means we have to wake somebody up. Or if they're not awake, which would be very understandable, we have to pray that they're just going to see this in the morning morning and be there in time for our one o'clock wedding. It's not even like we were having like a later, like we had an early afternoon wedding on a Thursday <laughs> and pray that someone sees this and can actually even show up. So but I was blowing people up. I was on my social media like if there's any time for me to actually like put knowing so many people to use or having like a net to cast like this, it's going to be now. Like we're going to utilize everything I have right now, all firepower on. We not only found someone, he was bomb. His name is DJ Crisco. I will, he's on my Instagram. I'll put his information somewhere on the screen or something. 
but he really was amazing. He came through clutch. Not only did he say that he could do it and show up, I had reached out to four, three or four other DJs on this website and three of them responded to me at two in the morning and said, so sorry to hear this is happening to you. I absolutely would love to do it. Let me know. I'll take off from work. I'm a teacher, but I'll figure out how to make it work. All of those responses came after I genuinely in my heart. Let me tell you, I, I promise you, I remember the amount of stillness that came into my head and I had a conversation with God. I was like, okay, there's nothing I can do. Like this is one of those times where it's like, besides reaching out to people, there's just nothing like this is, this is out of control. <laughs> like this now I am, I told him, I'm like, God, I am placing this in your hands. Like I'm full trust. I'm not even going to try and control this situation because it cannot be controlled. And I give it to you like 100%. Gave it to him, four people. So even had three of them not done it, I still, we still would have had someone. I'm telling you, God is good. He is exceptional. You know, one thing I do want to say is never give people money before they actually somewhat perform their job. The money did, the deposit or something did end up coming back way after, but I'm telling you, if somebody asks for a payment because they need to pay something else off before they even slightly do their job, Anyway, we will we will dismiss this now. <laughs> so that was the first obstacle. The other obstacle that ended up happening that I was like, it's literally not a huge deal. It's actually more funny than anything. This is something I didn't stress. I think after the DJ ordeal, I was like, there's literally nothing besides my dress catching in flame that can actually take me out of a, this is, this is completely fine. Everything will be fine mindset. Our flower girls, <laughs> somehow forgot their dresses. So they left their dresses at home. Now I promise you that is something that's just kind of like, it was fixable and it, it ended up getting, I was like, that's that's something that can really be fixed. So they went and had to go get their dresses. So that was just kind of like, and then the last ordeal that happened, <laughs> And this wasn't really a huge deal because slick, I had prepared for it. So I'll just say, I don't really wear makeup aside from this video and that's just because I have a couple little spots going on. I don't really, I, I don't wear makeup and I definitely don't get my makeup done. I've never gotten my makeup done. The only other time that someone did my makeup for me was for prom and I truly and sincerely did not like it. I really didn't. I feel like my face just, Oh, I, I guess I like it without makeup. Honestly, I'm really cool. Like I, I don't, I prefer clean skin. I prefer like making sure that the base is good. And if the base is good, I'm like, well then, I mean, what do I really need? <laughs> what do I need to put another base on for? But every, of course, everyone was like, you have to get your makeup for your wedding. Like Ariana, we know, especially since they all knew that I don't wear makeup. They were like, no, for your wedding, you're gonna wanna get your makeup done. You're gonna wanna get your nails done. Nails, yes, definitely nails. But makeup, I really was like, <laughs> I don't really want to, but I did anyway, cause I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna bring my face wash. If all fails, I'm gonna wash this off of my face. That's what I thought until we were like 10 minutes until the wedding started and they were doing finishing touches on my makeup. <laughs> And I was like, oh my gosh. So it was looking good up until the foundation part. I'm really, really big. Like I cringe at videos on Instagram where people like do like under the eye and then contour and then it, it just, it's cringy to me because it just looks like so much. And I can feel when a lot of makeup is on. Like I can feel when any makeup, I can feel the makeup that's on my face right now. And you can barely see anything as she was putting it on. No shade to her, cause she does an awesome job. It's just makeup on me. It's, it's, it's me, it's not her, it's me. I, I was starting to just feel it more and more and I was like, I just feel like there's too much dusting and dusting and more dusting and dabbing and on my, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm about to just put Vaseline on my lips. Like 100, I'm about to put Vaseline on my lips. And, but I was like, give people a chance. They did not want me to hold a mirror while she was doing it. I should have held a mirror while she was doing it. I should have held a mirror. 10 minutes before the wedding, I was like, okay, like we gotta just stop with the makeup. Like I gotta just see what this is looking like, hair, everything. And I look at it and I promise you, you guys, I was just, it's not, it wasn't even bad. It was just too much for me. And it was overwhelming, especially to be so close to the start of the wedding time and 
knowing that we didn't book the wedding venue for but so long because we also did not want to come out of this wedding with any debt and we did not and I love that for us but at the time I was like okay we only have a few hours and then like this thing is done so like we can't spend half of the wedding getting ready for it yeah I hate when people do that I was like let me just see it and I looked at it I promise you I was like I I need a moment so I looked at it with my best friend and I know that she was being very sweet she knows me she was also trying to make sure that I didn't do anything irrational <laughs> at the last second so she was like it looks very good it looks very pretty what don't you like about it and I was like I don't like a lot of it like all of it like every single part like everything but my brows truly and it wasn't that she did a bad job again it was just that it is not for me and so then of course you know other people come around the corner and they're like how do you like you know what are you what are you thinking and, and like I was like I just and they're like well what if you go like this and what if I put and so then she started kind of putting more on to make it appear that there was less and for me the only way that it can appear that there's less makeup on my face is if i remove it off my face but they're like well just hold on hold on hold on and i'm like i hear hold on and then i also know in my head like okay my mental clock is going down from we had 10 minutes to i'm sure we have like three at this point and you're talking about hold on and so it was just all of everything going on and then also i was trying to be polite that's the thing is i wanted to be polite i didn't want to just be like this sucks. Bridezilla, no. No matter what happens, you still have to respect people. And I want to be mindful of their feelings and their hard work. Everyone's doing all this for me. I don't want to, I'm not trying to be a bridezilla. With all of that, with the time coming down, with me trying to be nice, with them trying to put more on, to do with everyone asking me questions, I literally, <laughs> you know when babies like, like they just all of a sudden just that like and then cry like that is literally what happened i was like i can't do it like of course i could get married but i was like i just like i wanted to wash it off my face it's pretty much i was like i can't do it as in i can't do this makeup like i cannot of course me crying obviously nobody wants to cry to cry and so that just elevates everything by 25 million also it ruins the makeup completely <laughs> it was a moment so anyway <laughs> i was dabbing but Ultimately, we ended up just removing it, like removing more off of my face. If I could go back, I would do my makeup myself, like 100%. Hands down, like, they tried to put lashes on me and I was like, this is not gonna, no, no. I don't know how y'all do lashes, by the way. I don't know how you do it. I could barely see. I'm like, I'm not even gonna be able to see him. Like, I could not see. And then when you're not accustomed to lashes, especially no glamour viva lashes, I'm like, oh no, oh no, this is not gonna work. But all in all, with everything that went on, mainly the DJ, all of that, it's crazy how it all worked out. Like, I know they always say it always works out, the day goes by in a blur. It didn't go by as fast, I mean, obviously a day is a day, so a day is only so long, but it actually didn't go by as fast as I thought it would. And the reason it didn't go by as fast as I thought it, it would, because as a wedding photographer, I have seen the day just blur by and people panicking, and before you know, you, you look up and it's like the only time you really enjoyed your Yourself was dancing or like at the very end because you stopped stressing and so I told myself especially once the DJ was handled and he was there and it was set up I was like I'm going to fully enjoy this day I'm gonna remember every moment I remember sitting down to get my hair done I remember having our robes on giving my bridesmaids things I remember all of that and I'm very thankful that I made sure to actively it's like when just like in yoga when you actively think about your breath I actively thought about everything that was going on I'm so thankful to have married the amazing man that I married. And after that, we pretty much immediately honeymooned. Well, oh no, 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 a week after, because I had to get my hair braided. And we went on our honeymoon and we cruised for seven days. It was a beautiful cruise. We went to the Western, a uh, lot of Western Caribbean. Um, we went to Puerto Rico. We went to St. Martin. We went to that little, it was with Royal Caribbean. They have their own little private island. And that was really nice. Of course, I had the full drink package because why would I not? Um, and he just got the like regular smoothies and things like that because I never finished these drinks anyway. So um, yeah. And we, we really had a blast. We were on, which ship was it? It was the uh, Symphony, yeah. We were, it was, it was there, it was Royal Caribbean's second largest ship, and it's actually the second largest ship, like, period, like, in general, in the, on the earth. Tons of slides, and, uh, it was 
so much fun. So many things to do, so many restaurants. I've been on like about four cruises prior to that, so we already knew overall like the itinerary as what to expect, but it was so much fun. So yeah, the cruise was amazing. So yes, so then right after the cruise, and when I say right after the cruise, like literally right after the cruise, we got back to the port, we flew to get Thor, because he was at the pet hotel. He flew back to Nebraska, got him, and then literally that day, like all in that day, we drove to our new home, which I'm currently in, and I will do a house tour or something like that later on, but we drove to our new home, and it was, like 14 hours, 15 hours, something like that. But it was just so exciting because I'm like, I'm just getting closer and closer to a whole new chapter. And knowing that you guys were still supporting me, oh, you guys were still supporting me during the wedding, even though videos weren't even being posted like that. That was everything. Like those of you that donated to me, everything, everything, like <laughs> it meant everything. It really, truly was very helpful. And so yeah, now we are here and I'm hopefully going to be opening my studio out here. Obviously I will then be revealing somewhat of my look, or at least if I open a studio, you know, everyone will know exactly where the studio is. Hopefully I'll be opening a studio. I'm working on my 200 hour, like literally working on it right now. That is my story. It's probably gone on so long. I don't know how long it's gonna take to edit this video, but I hope you enjoyed it. Again, thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Please feel free to click that link down below and start learning. It's so fun. Like I am, I'm just thrilled to partner with a brand that I'm just like, I'm on their stuff. I'm just like, wow, this is such a resource. It's such a resource. And I'm very proud to be able to offer it to you guys um, as well. So definitely take advantage of it. It's a month free. If you're one of the 1000, like it's a month free. Try it out. All right. Well, love you guys. Appreciate your support. Hugs through the screen. And I will see you in another video. Oh, please give this, please give this a thumbs up if you actually enjoyed it. All right. <laughs> Bye.